Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for another Databricks video. Today we are going to do something different. We are going back to the basics. Unlike the previous videos, we will do something very simple here. We are going to use Azure Data Factory, pass a parameter to a Databricks notebook, and using this parameter we are going to hit an API and return some data. So, if you are advanced, you can skip this video. If you are new to Databricks though and new to Azure, I think it's necessary to know all these steps because it's a very common practice to pass parameters from Azure Data Factory to a Databricks notebook and use this parameter. So, let's get started and let's move to Azure Data Factory. <music> Okay guys, so we are on Azure portal. Now the first thing we have to do is to create a data factory if you haven't. So click on create a resource, look for data factory and then click on create. Very simple things. Specify your resource group here, the name of your data factory, the region and the version and you leave everything as is, next, next, next until you review and create. I have already created a data factory, so I, I'm not going to do it again. Let me launch this one. So here we open Azure Data Factory Studio. And the first thing we have to do is actually create a data factory pipeline. And the purpose here is from this data factory pipeline to access our Databricks notebook. Now, the Databricks notebook is this one here. As you can see, it's a very simple three lines of code. And here at the bottom, we import the request li library and uh, this is the API URL we are going to hit and get back the results and print the results. Now this URL here, this API, you can find it. It's a public API. So this is the initial page. And here you see all this data. So let's go back to Data Factory. Let's click on the Add button, click on Pipeline, create a new pipeline. You can see the empty canvas here, expand Databricks and drag and drop the notebook icon. And here you can specify the name, notebook demo under Azure Databricks. We have to provide a link service, which is essentially a connection between Azure Data Factory and Azure Databricks. So click on New. Data, Azure Databricks linked service, provide the name and I have already done that. So use the auto-resolve integration runtime, select your subscription, your Databricks workspace. I have only one Databricks workspace. Click on the existing interactive cluster. And here we are going to use the cluster that we have on our Databricks environment. So under compute, you will see I have a cluster here. And uh, in order to access Databricks, you, we need to provide a token. So let's uh, how can you get a token? You go here under settings. You click on developer, access tokens, generate new token, demo one. One day, it would be valid for one day. Click on generate and now copy this because if you forget to copy that, once the pop up is uh, closed, you cannot find this value. So copy that and paste it on here. You can also use Azure Key Vault and get the secret from Azure Key Vault. Now, from the existing clusters, you can select the cluster that you have. You can test the connection here. Connection was successful. Click on create and everything is fine. So we have established the connection between Data Factory and Databricks and under settings, we have to specify the notebook we are going to actually uh, use on Databricks environment. So click on browse under user. So wh wherever you have uh, saved your notebook. I'm going to select this one, the demo one. And here now we can run the debug mode and it's going to run our pipeline. We will have to wait a, a little bit. Uh, thank God I have already spinned up the cluster. So the cluster is already active. 
it won't take uh, long for the pipeline to run because usually if you haven't spin up the cluster then it's going to take a few minutes so this is in progress already if you click on the input you can see the notebook that we have uh, specified here it finished successfully so if we click on the glasses you will see the run the instance that run uh, with uh, this execution and, uh, which is very very amazing when you want to debug right and here it ran the code and it brought back uh, all the data that we have here awesome right so now what we want is to pass a parameter from data factory and catch it here on databricks and pass it in the url so we want for example to pass um, the value three so if we go into our api here website slash three it will bring back only this entry so we want only this entry right not all the data how can we do that here in our databricks in our data factory under settings we have the base parameters click on new provide a name and here that will be and the value and the name is the one that we defined here so let's go into our notebook here as you can see we are using widgets now databricks widgets if you go into the into, into the documentation you can see there are four types of widgets one is text one is drop down one is combo box and one is multi select which are which is pretty amazing so here we are using the simplest one the text one so you use dbutils.widgets.text param is this is the name of the parameter and the value is null so if you run this 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 pop-up here is going to emerge at the top and then you can pass a value and if you run the second cell here which is tbutils.widgets.get and the param that we specified up here then it's going to print the value that we passed now we're going to do the same but from data factory and here this is how you do it you under base parameters you pass the parameters and the value and then you execute that and let's see what happens the run was successful so if you go here on click on the glasses follow the url and here we have the job runs and this is the instance so you can see we only brought back the entry we wanted since we passed the id here is where you see print id value is three which is the one that we passed under base uh, under base parameters here right then this is how you pass parameters from data factory to a databricks notebook This is it for today guys, it was a quick video for beginners for those who have just started working with Databricks. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.